Hi, I'm Storm Trekker 18 meteorologist Jess Langlois. A little bit of a cool start this morning. Made it down to 49 in Eau Claire. Generally anywhere between the mid 40s to 50 this morning, with the exception being Medford at 40. So it was definitely chilly there and into uh, Taylor County this morning. But as we head into this afternoon, temperatures managed to get up to pretty close to average in Eau Claire. Although we will be seeing temperatures generally on the below average side for the next week or so, we're in a little bit of a cooler pattern now. But the most noteworthy thing coming up is unfortunately we will end our streak of dry weather. But the good news is the chances increase overnight at, with an approaching front. So we will see uh, storm shower and storm chances increasing overnight, most likely after that mid -time, midnight time frame through the early hours of Monday morning. So we will see those chances for scattered showers or perhaps a few storms increasing overnight and into early Monday morning. Looks like the bulk of any activity would come through between uh, before about noon time tomorrow and at that point we should see most of the activity out of the area aside from perhaps a couple lingering showers uh, east of Eau Claire for the next couple hours into the early afternoon hours, but we should see things clear out pretty quickly behind that as we head into Monday evening. And once we get there, it's pretty much smooth sailing from then on out into Monday night and into Tuesday as we do see high pressure move in. So things will be a little bit cooler uh, behind it with temperatures likely only in the lower to mid 70s, overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. But in terms of that rain timeline, again, we're looking at chances increasing aside from perhaps a light scattered shower this evening. Those better chances are going to be overnight and into Monday morning. We should see those chances diminish pretty much after noon time. Pretty minimal chances for a lingering shower into the afternoon before we see, see things clearing out. Now tomorrow is the last day of August, so we're heading into September now and it is our last chance to get August to get any rainfall through August. So widespread, we're looking at totals most likely anywhere between a trace, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch up to about an inch for most, depending on where the storms track through. Although we could see some isolated higher totals up to about two inches, depending on who sees any heavier downpours. Severe threat not looking too impressive with this. We could see perhaps a stronger storm or two, but not really too concerned about severe weather overnight. Now we are looking at a deficit of about two inches for the month of August in Eau Claire. So this will be our last chance to make up for that. We could see up to an inch of rain, perhaps a little more depending or less depending on where we see the heavier downpours tracking through. We are a little bit under for the summer as a whole. And as we round out meteorological summer anyway, tomorrow that will be our last chance before we head in September into September. So we do have a chance for scattered showers, chances increasing after midnight. As we head into early Monday, showers and storms will be likely during the first part of the day, likely before that noontime hour, before we see things beginning to clear out into the afternoon, becoming partly cloudy later in the day, although it will be a cooler day with highs only in the low to mid 70s and temperatures uh, and a wind out of the northwest. So it will feel cooler even after that sun starts to come out. Temperatures going to generally be in the 70s for much of the upcoming week as we start September on Tuesday, but with high pressure in place, we should stay pretty dry and pretty sunny through midweek. Perhaps a slight chance for a uh, shower overnight Wednesday into Thursday, but overall looking pretty dry until at least next weekend.